All right, time to position this horse. And I've got to uh, figure out how I'm going to mount this guy. I think I know how I'm going to do this. Um, anyway, I've got to make a board for this to sit on um, that I can take apart from uh, the whole composition and work on it separately. I've got the heater going again today because it's minus 44 degrees with the wind chill outside. And let me tell you, this cement floor in here is one cold son, son of a gun. I can feel it all the way up through my feet. So it's going to be a fun day today. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. I've got it mounted on a piece of wood. Now I need to figure out I guess exactly where I'm gonna place it. I gotta place it there. <coughs> this horse might have to move over a little. Let's do that now. extension really comes in handy. There we go. Now I put clay around the base so I could line up the uh, thing back on, but I'll just move that. And let's get this guy positioned. I don't want him too close to the horse. So I'll put him right there. Boy, that's gonna. I'm gonna have to put another extension on my stupid base. Unless I do that. Or. If I go like that. That'd be better. Alright, that's what I'm coming up with. I've got to. <coughs> have a uh, <coughs> support for the uh, body of the horse or else the clay will just cause this whole armature to bend over. Kind of like that. I know it's still hard to see what's going on. I won't. You won't really be able to see it very well until the clay is put on the, the horses that are not anything but armatures right now. But I finally figured out how to support this uh, horse here with the uh, brass tube that I had. I, d I couldn't find a drill bit big enough for this tube and I put it at an angle and I drilled a bigger hole than I needed and I drove a fondue stick in next to the uh, tube, wedged it in and then glued it in with the uh, Elmer's glue. That will hold fine. Um, it, now it's just a matter of putting clay on the uh, armatures. <coughs> and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm, I'm just gonna put the clay on the uh, thorax or the uh, rib cage area for right now. Oh, I gotta anchor. <laughs> I gotta anchor this one down. Holy cow! Almost blew that one. I'm gonna put this horse as close to that horse as I can. All right. I'm going to 
screw that down. I need to block in where that horse is positioned. Get all the sawdust off the table. That's just so that when I disconnect it from the, uh, the base, I can reposition it perfectly. I'm just pressing the clay up against the uh, base to uh, make sure I line it up perfectly when I come back later. Well, I, I do want to tell you that I'm not going to be here tomorrow, Friday, all the way through the weekend, and maybe Monday. Uh, I probably won't be back until Tuesday because of the holiday season. I hope you don't mind. And uh, week. I'll come in and uh, start on one of these two uh, horses and start doing the anatomy on. I'll probably start on this one first. I don't know. I'm just going to have to play it by ear and see how it goes. I want to take this uh, opportunity. Whoop. I do want to take this opportunity to uh, say thank you for this past year. All of you has, who have been following me. It's been a fun year, productive year. Now, I know it takes a long time to produce something uh, like this, but you got a lot of thinking you have to do throughout the uh, whole time of creating it. You have to design it, you have to have a little engineering to it uh, just to get it to uh, work I don't know if this design is going to work or not I'll come to that decision as I go along with the piece and see how it all works out at any rate um, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas all of you who celebrated Happy Hanukkah to all my friends out there who celebrate that. And just love each other. Enjoy each other's company. Be thankful if you have family, that you have family around you. I've only got my brother left. All my my two sisters and my brother have all passed, my mom and dad, so it's a tough time of year for some of us, but I wish you nothing but the best, and uh, as far as the new year, boy, I hope it's better than this last year was for the nation and for the world. All right. Bloviating, I'm going to say good night, everybody. I'll see you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. 
Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.